Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day. It's your boy Zama back with another breakdown. Uh, what is this, like four in a row? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna. Oh, we're gonna have some new content coming out soon, but I know y'all have been enjoying these breakdowns, so. You know, we're back with another one, and this time we're gonna be doing the most. Probably highly requested one, because I know a lot of you have all been asking for a Sandal one. And, uh, yeah, I figured out a title. I'm gonna just name it the strongest character in this game, because the reason I'm using the strongest is because, like. Sandel to me is just the reason she's so good, which by the way, she's like definitely top three, like a hundred percent. The top three, like I said in my previous videos, I think is Havoc, Homelander, Sandel. But with how broken Havoc and Homelander is, there are some people who actually think she's still top one. Which that alone just shows you how strong this character is. And people are not saying she's top three, top one, just because they want to say it. So today I'm gonna be breaking down why Sandel has been top three, top one for probably like Ever since, I'll be honest, ever since Sonic started playing this character and really showing how broken she is, which was what, like, month one of the game, <laughs> month two of the game, so it's been about a year, so Sandel has been top three, I'd say top five for about a year now, and some people even have her top one, so we're going to be going over her, you know, breaking her down, showing you guys how she works, why she's so good, and obviously I'll try to show you all how to counterplay this character, but she, uh... It is a very strong chat, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, she is very strong. Like, even, like, she's just hard to beat. Because I'm pretty sure she has, like, two... I think with Sindel, and why I can see her being top one. This character legit has, like, two hard matchups, I'd say. Melina is, like, the... I hear is the hardest one for her. And pre-patch, Johnny was the one that... Johnny also beat her. I don't know about this patch, I haven't really played it. Because, you know, Johnny's parry, I feel, was a big reason why that matchup was kind of annoying for Sindel, but that got nerfed. Shadow Kick is still a main reason why is it good, uh, Johnny's good in that matchup, but I don't know what it is now, but those are the only two matchups I can really think of. <laughs> like, aside from that, Sindel, her matchup chart is insane, but uh, yeah, let's start with the breakdown. So right off the bat, <laughs> character, decent walk speed. Now this character, I mean, like, you see her forward walk speed, by the way. Back walk speed is okay, but her dash, like, yeah, her movement, like, her movement is great. Um, so if I have to describe this character, like I always do with uh, every character, honestly, Sunel doesn't really have an archetype, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, she is everything. <laughs> this is why she's, uh, I'm gonna name it the strongest character, because she's legit, the reason she's so good, is because she has everything in the game, like, if you, if you want a tool you can think of, this character has it. So, um, whether you want to play her this range, this range, this range, like, she's chilling. Like, this range to this range is where she literally dominates, right? But anytime she wants, she can play in this range, too. So, let's just go over. <laughs> um, first, we'll go over the button. So, and though 1-1 one, one stringing is really good. Minus 1. It's staggerable, and the full string is minus 4. So, very stagger. Um, okay, we'll just go over it. This, this, this right here is really what makes Sindel so obnoxious. Uh, aside from, you know, what I'm going to show you later on. But this button, forward one, it's probably the best button in the game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the only other buttons I can think that compare to this are maybe, like, Johnny's forward three. Like, in terms of a button that puts in work for you, gets you a hit, I can think of maybe Johnny's forward three, um, Homelander's forward four. So this is, like, you know, I, I'd honestly say this is probably the best button in the game, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this button, let me describe why this button is so good. So... You see all the ranges button controls, right? It controls, like, when you're in this range, this button controls all this space. You see that? Now, this button is not a... If it was a high, this button would be fine. But this button is a mid. So it goes from high, mid, mid. So if I'm Garrus, and I'm walking in... You see how... You see that? So this button is literally, like, it controls all this space. It's safe on block by itself, by the way. Minus 7 pushback. It has a, a mind game to it, you can do that, which is minus 9, but it is flawless block punishable. But you're like, okay, if I flawless block, I can still stagger this. And then she also has a projectile she can cancel into. And she can also cancel on a cameo, you know, stuff like that. And on top of all that, this bun is fully hit confirmable. So anytime, this is why, like, her neutral is got like, anytime she's in this range, this button is literally what I feel like this bun is literally what makes this character broken. Like, anytime you hit this bun, Free confirm. You have so many frames to hit confirm this. 
And then when you heal confirm, free combo every time. And here's the other thing about this button. Not only does it control all this range, this button is auto shimmy. Now, like I've been saying, if you guys don't know what a shimmy is, a shimmy is basically a button, a string, special move, whatever it is. It can be, most of the time it's not a special move, but it's normally a button or a string that has similar timing to a throw. So it throws a 10 frames. This button is 11 frames, so it has similar timing to a throw. And it basically looks like you're going to throw. So if I walk up to you, Sindel, and I do this, and you think I'm going to throw, you're going to try to tech, right? So it shimmies you. I'm shimmying you with this button. Now, this button is also an auto shimmy. What an auto shimmy is, is auto shimmy auto times a shimmy for you. So with some shimmies, you kind of have to like walk up and time it the same time you time a throw, right? Auto shimmy just does it for you. Like, if you walk up and do this, at, no matter like what time you do it, it auto shimmies the opponent. Meaning if I try to tech, I'm getting shimmied. Now the reason that's so strong is because once again, this button is minus 7. So it's not punishable. So even though it's minus 7, look at this. Look at the pushback. Now, so like, let's say... Let's say Liu Kang, who has a 6 frame stand 1. He can't even punish this because it's, it has all that pushback. Not only is it auto shimmy, it's also a hit confirm auto shimmy. So it means if I do this and I see you get hit, I can hit confirm with this every time. So... Right off the bat, what does this button do? It controls all this space for you. It's a mid, it's safe, it has mind games off of it. Uh, it has enders, you know, you can do this, you can gimmick people with this. It has all those mind games, plus it's an auto shimmy. Plus it's a combo start. This button is literally a do-it-all. <laughs> like, this button is a do-it-all button. That's literally why I think this character is so strong. Um, and you know, if that was the only thing she had, it's fine. But let's go over everything else she has, <laughs> so... Um, 2-4, this string is amazing, it's, this, this is plus 2 by itself, fully, it's uh, no gap, nothing, so you just have plus 2 here, if she does a full string, which is 2-4-4, four, four, that's plus 5, now this does have a falls block gap, so if you falls block this, I'm pretty sure it's minus, but she's still safe, so if I do bam, 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 yeah, minus 5, now so it goes from plus 5 to minus 5. But that doesn't really matter, because even if you do this full string, it's minus 5. And the stagger is plus 2, with no gap at all. So this string is literally like... The pressure with this string is amazing, just by itself. Stand 2 is also a good stagger, stand 1, you know. Um, So, great string for plus frames, she already has forward 1. So, you're basically controlling neutral with this. You have this for plus frames. Now, if you're wondering what else does she have, uh, maybe she has like... Uh... See, this string I want to go over, but I'll go over with the special moves, because... I'm sorry, this character has so many tools, it's actually insane. We'll go over her pokes. Um, her down three. Now... Yeah, this poke is broken. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like... You guys just see the range. Now, it is minus 12, sure. But I'm sure you guys can see the range on this. And, to be honest, I don't think this is really fair. <laughs> so, aside from this bun that you already have to worry about... You also have to worry about a low that hits you from this far. Do you see how far I am? Do you, do you understand how far I am right now? Look, look at this. Do you understand how far? And it hits a low, so... The second you're trying to outspace that, that's... Safe on block. Safe on block. Safe on block. This is one, one time you get hit. Hit confirm. And if you do that, this is also plus 9 on hit. So I can jail you. Play a mind game. I can also do that. If you try to move here, good luck. That's all I gotta say, so. If I hit this and you try to move. Yeah. You're not moving. You try to mash. But. That's also very risky, because. Um. She can still check you with a mid. Which is. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. If, you, if you're also wondering if she's locking a mid, so this seems to start with a high. She has back two, so I guess uh, let me go over this now because I'm covering a poke. Back two is 14 frames. Now the full string is uh, minus six, but you can unblock the second part. So the string itself, not not crazy, right? Now I'll go. I'll go back to the string because I do. I do want to go over the rest of her little toolkit. Um, aside from that, yeah. So down three is insane. That one is your decent down one. Sweep is r <laughs> like. Another bond that's insanely good. Her sweet, like, you got, bro. I don't think people understand the range of this character. It's insane. The sweep is, look how far that goes. Minus four on block. 
completely safe, then it literally goes across range. So just off this range right here, she got forward one, down three, sweep, and back two as a mid. And she also has forward four, but this is like more of a you can use this as a stagger, which is really good. It's also a mirrorless launcher. Back two is also a mirrorless launcher. So she has two mids to check you. So if you even try to match on this character, she has two inconformable mids. And I mean trying to match in this character is scary in general because this is the do it all button right here. The godlike button. Um so yeah, those are all those strings right away right there. And for the most part, I mean her back grab. Back grab Oki okay, actually is pretty good. Her back grab is plus seven, but you know, like I said, she can play a mind game with this. Now you may be thinking, does she get throw combos? No, she doesn't. But the reason you don't want to keep getting grabbed with this character is because one grab leads to her other game plan. So like I said, she's not really a like she doesn't play at a specific range. This range right here, I'd say, is really her strongest. But based on all those tools I just showed you, she can play here if she wants to. Like she has a bunch to do it. Um. So now let's go over her specials, cause brother, this character. So right off the bat, low projectile, nothing crazy, right? Um. You know, straight projectile, nothing crazy as well. EX does go through uh, other projectiles, so it is a pretty good projectile. It's pretty fast, it goes meter. Um, now, what makes all this broken is she has instant air projectiles. So if you do jump into down forward one, she has instant air. And she can just keep looping it over and over again, and you know, obviously, if you do these low enough, uh, opponent can't jump it. Oh, if I can actually get it out right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, if I'm playing Gears and I'm trying to avoid this by walking, it's not going to work. So, even when you're trying to get on this character, you got to duck. So, right there. So, she, you can see how already she's controlling zoning by with a low projectile, a straight, and this. Now, this is the, this is the most beautiful part about this character, right? Do you get hit by this? I think she can do like, yeah, she can EX this. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we gotta go over this move. It, this is another, this is like, if I had to describe what makes this character broken, it's two things, two main things. This button, and this special move that we're about to go over. <laughs> I mean, Scream as well, Scream is insane. Like, this is, this is a restand launcher, it's plus 44. It hits cameos, so for example, if I call Striker, and I do this, I'll hit Garrus and Striker. So it hits any cameo that's behind the opponent. Um, so Kano Ball, if he's behind you, hits you. It hits basic cameos, it's it's a restand, so any, anytime I anti or whatever it is, if I um, do a normal jump and the Garrus jump, they're gonna broke. <laughs> if I do this, I can do a bam. What the hell is your anti? I think her anti is just down too, yeah. But I can do like bam and then restand low combo, right? So yeah, her uh, scream, great launcher, restand, everything you want. Now, like I said, if I had to describe this character and why she's so strong, it's two things, forward one, and float. Now float is <laughs> it's probably the most broken special move in the game, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um I mean, she has a lot. Of, no, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. I'll, I'll mention it after I describe it. So, float is, you know, she has a float. And she can just float in the air for as long as she wants until she gets to the ground, right? So, about, like, depending on how high you jump, you can float until you get to the ground. Now, while she's in this float stance, you can do a projectile. So, if I'm holding this, I can do a projectile anytime I want. Right? And any, at any attack off of this float... Is an overhead, by the way, so. And also, let me mention her jump 3. Her jump 3 is broken. Her jump 3 is actually just insane. And I can do jump 3 projectile, you know, this, <laughs> this typical special cancel. So if you're trying to approach me, I can hit you like this. And I can also do stuff like this. Now, let me go back to the back 2 string, the mid I talked about earlier. Now, the string itself is pretty punishable on block, right? Because you off block that part. But when you EX float, it starts up 14 frames. The normal version, you have to jump in and do it, right? But EX float. Uh, okay, well, let me just go over how float works with this. 
So back two puts you in the air, meaning you can cancel in a float. And when you're in float here, you know, you get an overhead. So that means if I check you with a mid, I can do this. And that's a combo right there. I can connect it. There you go. It's a combo right there, all for mid. So this is a 14 for mid. This, all, this mid also covers you jumping, so if I try to jump back on Sindel, and they do this, so if I'm blocking... Not only is it a mid, it's also an anti -er. And, you know, that's where she gets the courage combo row. So, not only is it a mid check, it also covers jumping, so... You can't just jump, you can't play, <laughs> you can't just try to jump out of the situation. She can also anti -er you with an auto mid. Um... Now uh, the reason the EX is so uh, broken, so let me just show you guys how this whole mind game works. When she's in this, obviously you can up block, right? Now here is the mind game, so... She has EX float. When she EX floats, off her back two, you can't block. That jail's right there. Now keep in mind, every time you jail this, not only is this like... Not only is that way is your combo, and then you can't up block it, she has a 14 frame mid. Fully confirmable, and after I do this, I can shimmy you either forward one or grab whatever I want to do, right? So she has a little bit pressure, and keep in mind, she can also bait your L block. So uh, let's say I'm Garrus, and she does this. If I want to cancel it, and if I think you're gonna L block, I can do this. So I can do if I do the normal version, I can L block, and that's a punish right there. 17%. Now, <laughs> now, this is what's also broken about this. The normal recovery of this, if I want to cancel it, is so fast. A lot of characters can't armor. The reason Johnny is considered good against her is because this Shadow Kick will punish... If she just does back two raw, Shadow Kick will punish every time. Same with Shao's knee. Um, so those characters, you know, they can punish it. But most of the characters in the game struggle with punishing this. I think Omni-Man maybe can too, but... Yeah, she can play that, and then obviously she can jail it to where you came in armor. So you see how she has a guaranteed mid to check you, and if you do get hit by this mid, it's very demoralizing because she gets a free combo. And to, I mean, she gets pretty good damage as well. That's 35% off a mid check. Remember, this works off anything, so I'll do that combo as well and this does pretty good damage by itself as well that's 38 percent so she's not lacking damage um and like i said so yeah you can use this so you can just flow anytime and remember this jumping out of total <laughs> just look at this if you're just floating in the air just look at this jumping right here um now since i said you could do this if you ex the projectile it actually puts you in float so you can cancel if you ex projectile can cancel in a float so if i'm just moving around here and i do that and you get hit by this projectile i can actually confirm it so i can do this you know if i do it right there you go so you already see that so what is she controlling as a character she's controlling this range she's controlling she's zoning you she's controlling all this range controlling all this range and she's controlling the whole air because you can't jump and she has a mid, so you can't so you can't mash on her. She has an auto shimmy. She controls all the space. She zones you out. So already her space control top three in the game, probably top one in the game. Um Yeah, when I <laughs> I remember you can just keep pooping this. So if I just if I don't think you're gonna up block, I could just keep doing this. And the one time you decide to up block, I could do that. And so I could do like bam, bam, grab. So you see how she's just playing a mind, because remember, if you just mash, she's hitting you with overhead. So if I try to, that jails by the way, if I try to do this, and I try to poke. Oh, uh, hold up. There you go. And yep, can't poke. That jails me, and I get full comboed. Um, and yeah, the EX one is just faster, so you can do like this. And after that, remember, this is auto shimmy, so if I think, oh, she's gonna grab. And she can confirm this. If I try to tech here, you can actually hit confirm that right there. And you get a full combo. 
So, right off the bat, her grab game, shimmy game, amazing. So, you're already like, okay, well, this character is insanely strong. She basically does everything, right? Now, let's go, what else? <laughs> let's go over what else she does. So, you guys know how some cameos have very low recharge time, like Tremor or... I mean, Tremor's got buffed. You know how Kung Lao hat has kind of a low recharge time if you hold the hat or Movado Mine. She has this one move called Inspire. And this move basically makes cameos come back in two seconds, so... I waste Lao Hat. You'll see the normal cooldown takes about... Takes a while, right? It takes about, like, maybe 10 seconds to recharge all the way. It's like, so, like, actually, let me do it with this move. This move right here. Full cooldown for counting. One, two, three, four, five. About, like, 12 seconds, right? Something like that. Now, if I use this whole thing and call this cameo move. Yeah, you guys see that. So, this move not only allows her to abuse cameo usage. And we're going to go over cameos because, trust me, brother. When I, when I show you guys these special moves. <laughs> when I show you this special move paired with some cameos. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about. If you guys play against the no or play, yeah, play with her. When I show you, like, how this float plays because remember this is an overhead so when I show you how that plays with some of her cameos yeah she can also uh she can also EXS if she wants and you can't break but nobody really uses that um if she wants to call her she can also call your cameo so if I'm trying to do like you know this is, it doesn't work with this bottle but if like if I'm playing against someone with Lao Hat if I, if I think you can throw Lao Hat out I can do that and it'll actually hit your cameo. <laughs> so, your cameo gets hit action. Because for some reason, why not give her? And if you thought that was all this character gives you, let's go over her wake up. Probably arguably another top 3 wake up in the game. Now, it doesn't give you a launcher, but it doesn't really have to, so. Right off the bat, wake up is 20 frames pretty fast. It's an overhead. So, yeah. Now, let's go over why it's so strong. So. Since it's an overhead, it low crushes, which means if I do a low poke, it goes over. If I, you know, for example, if you put on Lao Hat, I can do this to go over Lao Hat, so it low crushes, it goes over lows. Now, since it's armor, and this is the funny part. If you guys look at the bottom left, it's plus 54. You know what this means? You get a save jump off of this. Off an overhead 20 frame wake up. You get a save jump. So if I do, if I do this and time it right, you see that. So if I do, bam. So and just you gotta think about how crazy that is. Imagine getting a save jump off a twenty frame overhead armor so if I do any gap if I do this for example and I armor that's a mind game you see how I auto meet you with a save jump and guess what after the save jump you still have to guess remember anytime you get hit by this there's a guessing time either an auto shimmy or a grab <laughs> so and the fact that it's an overhead means you could just auto mix people by the way it is you know it's nothing crazy but if they have like no health overhead overhead oh you thought overhead was coming low because this is unreactable you're not reacting to that so her wake up insanely broken and her armor move also insanely broken they're, they're together obviously um fatal blow nothing crazy i mean it's, it's, it's a good fatal blow but uh yeah we're gonna get to into cameos because that's where this character i mean everything i showed you like <laughs> I'd say if we were to make, like, if, if this game was a 1v1 game, I'd say this is probably the best character in the game. Like, if this game all of a sudden had no cameos, this, game, this character would be the best in the game. Like, free, I'll be honest. Like, Johnny would be good too, but this character's toolkit, like, she legit can play without a cameo. That's why she's so broken. Um, now, let's pair a cameo with her. So the first cameo I'll go over is Kung Lao, so... What does Kung Lao give her right off the bat? It's because you're zoning, right? You know, you got low hat, for zoning, so I can do this. Low hat, zoning. And you know, what comes with low hat or Kung Lao in general? 
your heart of block was right? So I can do low hat, jumping. Now I remember how I said this she has a float, <laughs> so when we pair low hat with float, you just see the situation, right? Like you can tell what's happening here. It's either when you get hit by the low hat, it's either low hat hits first, so if I if I just let the hat hit first, I get a full combo, or if I just delay the low hat, I hit you overhead first. So you're guessing here. This also armor breaks, so if I'm playing Dearest, and I see this, I'm like, oh damn. Let me let me try to armor this. Or right, let me try to armor reaction. Well, walk out a little. <laughs> okay, Gears' armor is low-key kind of privilege in this situation. But you get what I mean. Like I can do this. I can also catch you. So if you're trying to jump out of that as well. Oh yeah, remember I said back to Antires? Let me show you another scenario. So remember this? So if you try to jump, yeah, I got a full combo of that. Thank you very much. And since you're always in, the, since that always restands, full combo. And then you know you hit that and restand. So just from her putting low hat down, it's a risk to jump, and you're taking a hard blockable because she can do float, and she can arm break you, and if this catches you, this hits you. Because she releases it early and plays that mind game, you can convert that every time. So you already see how strong low hat is with the neutral. Now, let's go over what has made this character so broken. And I'll also show you the, her second cameo, which has been used more recently, which is also really broken. But let's go over who has really made this character broken for the longest. So, with Sindel, anytime you land a hit... And you know, she has a lot of ways to land hit, by the way, like obviously. So let's say I land this. If I landed this on you. Let's go over the scenario. Okay. So you see that scenario right there? So let me do this mid screen because it's pretty it's easier to show you mid screen. So if I do I'll just do this part. If I just end the combo with this, right? So I'll do you know the uh this I'm basically doing this route, but I'm just shortening it to show you guys the actual setup part of it, right? So this is the route I'm doing, right? Okay, now let me show you that part and explain to you why this character is so broken. So, forward forward knockdown. Let's just go over that right away. Alright, let's just go over that first. This knockdown right here. I can do it. <laughs> that knockdown right there, plus 60. So, whatever setup I want to go for, I can do it, right? Now, let's just see what the setup is about. So, I end the, I end the setup with low hat. And remember, this character has a float, right? So, I can let the low hat go first, or I can do an overhead. And, I can even make it hard to block. So, even if you block the low first, I can hit you with overhead right after. For example, I can do this. So you block low and you gotta block overhead right away. Or I can do overhead first and then you gotta block low right away. So I can do... Hard blockable. So if I'm... I'm gonna actually record myself trying to block this. So I can show you guys how broken this is. <laughs> and remember, it's unreactable, right? So... I get hit by this. I gotta guess. I obviously, I'll block low there, but let's say, you know, I, I I just block low and an overhead there, right? Let's say if I go for that again. Let's do that same exact situation that we just did. Block that. But there, so there is called unblockable protection. I didn't time it right, so no. But if you time it right, obviously you can do overhead and a low. So it's based on your timing, pretty much. So I can do... There you go. There's overhead first. So if, I'm, if I'm trying to react to the low hat... Remember, low hat is right in front of you, so you're not really, really reacting. Oh, I got hit with overhead. And then she goes for her old combo route. And what this is basically doing is any time this character gets a touch... I mean, look at her smiling. This character is... <laughs> anytime this character hits you, whether it's 1-1, one, one, I hit you with a mid... Anytime you get touched, right? I am putting you into a vortex situation, or just a mix-up situation. And even if you guess right, I am completely safe. And then I have auto shimmy or grab after. 
I remember, even though you, you may be thinking, well, the cooldown is pretty long. No, it's not. She got this move. So, not only is she zoning, most of the time she, she can zone you until a cameo comes back. The second she puts this down, it's time to guess. <laughs> the second she puts that down, it's time to guess. So when she puts this down, you want to run away. This is literally how you play against it. So, I'll, I'll, go, I'll get to the counterplay. But this is literally how the character is. The second she puts this down, it's time to run away because you don't want to get mixed. Um, but yeah, uh, a typical Sindel situation would be like this. I got hit you with this, you're like, damn, I got hit. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, you guessed wrong? Okay. And then you can end it in that, and then do it again. So you see, just, just because this plus this, you just see how broken these two are together, right? So, with everything she has, space control, zoning... A broken wake up, broken buttons, br uh, good pressure, with everything this character has. On top of that, she has Vortex Mix. Which is just, this character is just, it's, she's so broken, it's actually funny. Um, now, let's get to the, ca oh, by the way, let me do this setup and put Garrus on armor. Because if you guys are wondering if you can armor. Yeah, she has armor breaking setups too, so. Um, what's his wake up? What is this? Oh, uh, that's get up. Uh, revert. No, wait. That is get up. Let me just put this on. I think it's now, right? Yeah, okay, there you go. So, let's just go over the situation again. So, if I, if I think you're gonna armor, I can armor break you as well. On top of it being a hard blockable, I can also armor break you. So, yeah, let's go over the counterplay. The counterplay, to be honest with you, I mean, if he does this. The mind game is up block. And if you all block this, <laughs> you can punish. Um, she can cancel this though. So she'll, you know, something. A lot of places will cancel this. Try to catch your all block. Mind game there, if you read that, you can stand one. Or you can armor. But they can also bait your armor, so. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a really broken mind game, to be honest. And it, it, honestly, most of the time. It's, it's literally entirely in Sindel's favor. Like, this mind game is entirely in Sindel's favor. My armor has full combo punish. Um, so not only is she controlling neutral, she has a mind game on her main string. And she, she can, I'm telling you, when I tell you she can just loop this over and over again, I'm not even kidding. Like, I literally played Sindel's, that all they do is loop this over and over again. Because she gets pressure off of this, right? So, you're already guessing off this. And then she can do that. Grab you. And yeah, that whole thing. Now, if you guys are wondering what's the counterplay to this situation. The Vortex, quote unquote. I'll be honest with you. The counterplay really... It's very limited. I'd say with this character, you really want to try to save your breaker. Like, saving your breaker is like very essential. If I try to armor this, like, Garrus' armor can anti her, so it's not the worst against her. But the fact that she can armor break me anytime is always a risk to armor. And if she wants, she could just do flow and then block, so she doesn't have to go for an armor breaker. And honestly, there's... <laughs> I can't lie to you guys. The reason this character is so broken is aside from, like, maybe Johnny or Shao, trying to deal with that low hat right there, that setup, is so hard for like 90 95 percent of the cast and with all her buttons and her pressure and her zoning you're gonna get a hit eventually with this character like and the thing is that's why she's so broken she doesn't even need to hit you she can just run away so there's really no the problem with this character i feel like is there's no there's not enough counterplay to what she does like it only comes down to armor or a block mind game like and if you try to jump, she can always catch you with this. Like, <laughs> this is really limited counterplay to what she does. I mean, that's kind of the problem with this game in general. There's really limited counterplay to a lot of stuff. Because th the main defensive option in this game is armor. And if you don't have a good armor, you're kind of, like, screwed in so many situations. Which is probably the biggest thing I don't like about the game. Just the fact that if you don't have a good armor, you you're, like, struggling in so many matchups. Because the offense is so easy to replicate. And if you don't have good armor, you can't get out of uh, any of these situations. Um, 
But yeah, so that's Kung Lao. And if you thought Kung Lao was broken, Tremor does basically what Kung Lao does in a different way though. You know, with Kung Lao maybe you're thinking, well she needs to get a hit. But remember Kung Lao helps her with zoning and all that. Now let's see Tremor. So if you guys are familiar with how Raikou works, anytime he throws a projectile, you can call Tremor to cover. So she can do the same thing. Now, remember how I said this is over it? <laughs> if I'm on, you know, if I am on, you know, Crystalline, you know how Tremor works. If I'm on this, I can call Tremor and do this slow, right? So I can do, I do, uh, bam. Uh, I'm not sure I do that. I've never done it. But basically, the mind game is I can hit you low. Or. There's like a way to. I'm not doing it right. There's a way to make that hit three times. I'm actually not sure how to do it. What's the requirement for that to hit three times? Oh, yeah. Hit. Oh, yeah. No, I'm doing it wrong. So. Yeah, I'm doing it wrong. I've been. So. If you hit this. So after I hit you with Scream, I can do this, and I can go for triple low, the mind game is here, I can go for low, or I can hit you with overhead. So <laughs> when I call Tremor, you have to watch out for a low, or you have to watch out for an overhead. So anytime I do back to one hit, so I'll basically do like a combo, I'll do like this, and then I'll do, you know, bam, bam, mix up. And not only is this a mix-up, whether it's overhead or low first, you can't armor it because armor breaks. And even if you guess right on the initial guess, you see how this hits three times on hit? Like if I'm doing this. I can do an overhead at any time, so you have to block low overhead, low whatever it is. So it's it's not only a guess on a first initial attempt, it's also hard to blockable. And just like the Kung Lao, it's a mind game. I don't, uh, but the thing that's so broken about this, I don't even have to do the move. I can just call Tremor. If you think the move is about to happen, I can just do it. <laughs> So, you guys see why this character is so broken. Other than this bond, which is our main bond, this special move right here, Flow, is so broken. It's insane. And uh, I forgot to mention, if she's on you, anytime with Tremor, she can do this. So, if I do this, you're not watching your toes. No, full conversion. Sucks for you. <laughs> and I get a full combo. And remember, if I end with this hard knockdown, save jump. Um, Tremor also gives her 1100 health. And the last thing, remember how I said she has this move that gives her... If you think Tremor's cooldown is a bit too long, which they they buffed the cooldown on it, so it's not even that long anymore. But if you think it's a bit too long, don't worry. Sunel got you, bro. I just want you guys to watch that cooldown. You understand how, to, how broken that is? That... She has access to this mind game. Uh, even, by the way, if you block it, she's still plus. She has access to this 50-50 mind game anytime she does this. Literally, anytime she does this, or anytime she hits you, she has access to this mind game. And even if you guess right, she'll just, what she'll do? Do this move that costs no bar. Go back to zoning you. She'll zone you until she gets Tremor. And the second she gets Tremor, we're back in there. <laughs> And if you also want, I'm pretty sure I see some, uh, they do this, and then they just do overhead or low, mix you with this. So anytime you're armor, you can just play get you with Sindel. So yeah, this is definitely, like, I can see this character being top one. Like I said, I have her personally number three. But she's so incredibly broken. I'll be honest, I do think she needs some sort of nerfs. Like, this is not a character that pe I think people can just defend. I think really like the main characters that need touches right now are Havoc, Homelander, and Sunel, which are the top three. These characters are just like, they're too broken. And they're broken for the wrong reasons. It's like, like, they're too easy to, what they do as characters are too easy to replicate. In my opinion. And they're too broke, like, it's just the balance that doesn't make sense. So, with Sindel, it's very simple changes in my opinion. The first one, this string. Uh, I don't mind this bun stays the same, but this ender gotta go. So forward one three, which I mentioned, she can do on block is minus nine. It has a fall block up. Now, if you manage to make Sindel with this bun, which is very hard, if you with this bun, then God help your soul. 
But you see you can whiff punish it if you if you do, right? Well guess what? If you're late on a whiff punish for one second, she can do an ender. So first thing that I would nerf is remove the ability to do this <laughs> on whiff. If you want to keep it on block, sure. But on whiff is crazy. This button is already like the most broken button in the game. The fact that if you manage to whiff it, which it's very trust me when I say it, it's very hard to whiff this button. But if you do manage to whiff it, because every character in this game already has to deal with trying to get in on his button. If you manage to whiff it, you should die for it. Like, there's no reason why this, like there's a built-in safeguard for a second hit. And that's what I mean. Like, why? Like, why is this even a thing? You know what I mean? Like, why does she have the ability to extend it even if she whiffs it? Like, if she whiffs it, she, if for how strong this button is, if she whiffs the button, she should be dead. If I whiff punish in time, I shouldn't have to worry about the second hit. Like, it's definitely remove that ability. Second thing is, make this cost a meter. Like, make it cost a bar. If you want to get your cameo back faster than every, anyone, because nobody else can do this in the game, literally her. But if you want to do that and get broken, like, literally broken cameo usage every five seconds just for using a special that has barely any startup and it costs nothing, make this cost a bar. And the third nerf I'd make is definitely do something with this move, bro. Like, make the gap in this bigger so you can jab it, like, on block. Uh, no, not jail. Like, yeah, it doesn't jail or something. I don't know. Because, like, this <laughs> the whole mind game she could play with this is so broken against, like, literally everybody except for, like, three characters, four characters. Um, And if they don't want to touch that, then nerf the wake up. The fact that this wake up is plus 54 and it hits overhead, and it's 20 frames is insane. Like, why do I get a save jump off of a overhead armor reversal? <laughs> That, like that's incredibly dumb because remember if I do this I can do Lao, Lao Hat right here so remember I was showing you guys with Lao Hat? Lao Hat hard blockable off of my armor like is that not insane? Um, but yeah that's basically the breakdown of this character I know this is probably longer than all the other breakdowns but I truly want to show you guys why this character is so broken <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed I hope I was able to teach you something as always thank you guys for watching hope you have a great day stay safe and if you have any uh ideas or thoughts definitely let me know and you guys have a great day appreciate y'all man and stay safe peace